Yo, yo, guys, what up, 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 man? It's the kid, 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 man. We're here. We have joined in here like a Voltron here for this um, in depth Chelsea versus Man United play pass. We're probably going to be doing this an hour and a half. We're going to look at different players, different teams, and we're going to really get right down analytically, tactically, and break things down. Who should start? who shouldn't start and so forth. So of course I've got the lineup screen in here that we're going to be using very soon. Let me even bring that up so you guys can see that um, right there. So obviously we're going to be doing lineups and everything and then have the whole discussion before we even get there. Um, I'm, I'll come first to Red Devil Man. General thoughts. So just this is just very general thoughts before we go into specifics. Right. General thoughts and emotions going into this game. Cautiously optimistic, uh, and I want to emphasize on the cautious, uh, cautious op optimistic. Every United fan was gassed after that PSG win, um, obviously, um, fanboying as, as, as it were. Um, but I think the key thing that most Manchester United fans are worried about is who Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to pick, specifically who Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to play in defense. Because if anyone watched that PSG game, Axel Twensibi was a don. He was fantastic. He just pocketed Neymar and Mbappe as if they were nothing. However, Harry Maguire is fit and Harry Maguire is the club captain. And someone can't play. So there's a very good chance that come this weekend, Harry Maguire will come back into squad, which probably means that Twensibi will come out of the team. And because of that, I think that some Manchester United fans are a bit more worried that it might not go our way just simply because of who Solskjaer picks for this team, not necessarily that we don't actually have the players to beat Chelsea. Ooh, hey, Chich, I can't hear you. Sorry. Yeah, we can. There you go. Yeah, yeah there no, you go. So, 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 I'll be lucky. General thoughts on this game. Are you confident? Are you not confident? Do you, are you feeling... Like Chelsea, this could be a game where, where Chelsea could really try and open up by United because they have played well against United. So how are you feeling specifically off the back of that severe game? It, it, it's two teams. Like I said before in the last anger, I think I told the Red Devil Studio. If I see Mason Mouse in that team, it's completely over. I'm expecting United to, look, to beat us like five or six zero. I'm I'm saying Oh now. easy, easy problem. No, no, no. Five no, or six. <laughs> five, or six. <laughs> five or six. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sentiment about because at the moment I really don't understand Frank Lampard's formation. I do not. Understand. He keep telling us this person is not fit. This person is not fit. We understand. Must you play Messi Mount in the wing? That is my question to Lampard. Those people in the press conference are not asking the question we fans want. Why you play Messi Mount in the wing? That is my own question for you. He needs to give us a genuine answer for that. If I can, if I can get an answer for that, then there's, a, there's gonna be a problem, a huge one that all the fans is gonna. I love Lampard because he's our record sign. I'm not going to dispute that. But when you do stupid things, you need to use your brain when you do things. For, I call it stupidity. Because that guy's not the wing guy. He's a proper midfielder. Why are you playing him on the wing? Why? Why are you playing him on the wing? To accommodate who? German to Dan. German to Dan. That's who you're accommodating, isn't it? What German to Dan. That's it. He's a number 10. So you play me the guy in his profile position as a number 10. Then when you are playing, you take Messi Manta because you are playing a 4 to 3 formation. Take him out of the team completely. Let him sit on the match and come in. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes to go. Let him come in and come and run, press, do all the all this. Oh, no, no, no. But, no but because, because the thing about it is, because again, I have literally been going back and forth with Chelsea fans about this on Twitter and so forth. And I've just been trying to understand the logic. And I'm trying to say, okay, you know what? Let me just try and look at it from their point of view because I, I don't understand the footballing logic. Because people say, well, is Hudson or Odoi fully fit? He's fit. Does... It, it, it's There's a reason Bayern Munich wants to buy him. Bayern want to buy him because they, they, Bayern, Bayern doesn't buy a trash player. They, 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 they don't buy a trash. They buy a completely very up, um, proven and let me say for the nearest future player. That's what they want. Cho is not. It's not. It's not injured. He's fully fit and he's ready to play. He wants to prove himself. So why are you playing Messi Mount? Please so don't. okay, but Joe then the they, they, okay, but. Because I think this is crap. This is that ZH is not match fit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is ZH, so after all this time, ZH is still not match fit? No, he's not fully fit here. Even he himself said yesterday that he's not fully fit here because of the injuries he had in the preseason. We can understand that. 
as the fans, we understand that is not because well, we're gonna be. I'd lie, the way you were speaking, you're speaking as if you're gonna lose. Mason Mount actually scored against us the last time you guys beat us. Well, the way you're speaking as if you're gonna lose because Mason Mount is in the team, you're gonna I lose because you can play. You have... I understand you can play Mason Mount. You can play Mason Mount. I understand, but you don't play. You play him in his first position as a midfield, not as a wing. Why are you playing man? Oh, no, 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 because see, Red right said the issue is with Mason mm. Mount again. This is not. And I talk with Mason Mount because, yes, the defense is trash and everything. But the issue here is this, is that you want to give yourself the best possible, possible. chance for creating chances. Exactly. And if you're in an attacking team on 4-3-3, I need both of my wide players to either two things, get to the byline and cross or cut in on the inside and shoot. So you need to be doing something in an attacking sense because people say, oh, Mr. Mount is involved in, in build up and everything. No, I need my wide players to literally be very critical in how you are attacking and causing problems. Yes. But it just seems as if Chelsea fans are finding every single excuse as to, oh, but he presses. Oh, but he's involved in the play. Oh, but, but, oh, no, 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 I don't no, no. give a F about pressing. What I want is a win. Put Mr. Mount on the bench. Put him on the bench. <laughs> he's not gonna be he's not gonna be like okay, he's not gonna be put on the bench. And to be fair, you beat a Manchester United before without without Mason Mount. So like he, he came up clutch in the FA, FA Cup. Fair enough. You know, so when he's played against, he's actually done okay. So when we've beaten no, you guys, no, it's no, been because you're the defensive minus the bricks, basically. See, Red Devil, this is the issue. I don't want okay. I want amazing. Okay. I don't want but oh he's fine, he does all right, he's not so no no. Oh. I want amazing, quality, high level. Okay, it's what it is. So my thing okay. is, I look. Let's okay. Let's let's just get to the, to the lineup start. Then we can we can then discuss. Just just, just, I, one, just, just wait. Sorry, 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 question after like what one quick question was Mason Mount playing when we lubricated you guys four 0 at the start of last season? Yeah, he did play. He did, he did play. Okay, maybe that explains it. Okay, go on. <laughs> before I did, before, even before I right, to the lineup. I listened mm. to Frank Lampard, the what's called his press conference, and I find it two ways about it. I think, I'm like what what I had him said is two ways. I think it's gonna start Olivier Giroud up front, like what I had him said. I'm not pretty sure, but I think he wants to tweak the formation. He wants to play Timo Werner and Olivier Giroud together, and that's gonna be like it's gonna surprise Ole because I think Lampard wants to do that. I am not sure where Messi Mount is gonna play because I'm hearing he wants to play Olivier Giroud and Timo Werner together. At the moment, maybe three, five, two, maybe four, four, two. That it's one, gonna, it's gonna match. It's gonna match, Oli. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that's gonna happen. But, um, but you see, 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 the danger there is change your formation if you're playing Bayern Munich mm -hmm. or Liverpool. You have to because do you change your formation against Man United? No, nope. that's my thing. It's like I think it's Man United. Chelsea and Man United are not sort of a million past. They are quite, hence why they finished on the same points last season. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so my thing is, you shouldn't have to change your formation. You should already have an MO, a formation that you are that you are fully religiously adhering to, and then you then go go ahead with that. You change against Bayern based on what they did. You change your for for, for formation to try and. <laughs> offsets that because Bayern Munich are playing on a whole other le level and everything so but m look obviously we'll get to the formations and everything because I want to see what Red, Red, Red Devil formation looks like because but I think Abdullahi it's 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 4 to 3 one has it's to be 4 to, 4 to 3 one it's 4 to 3 one yeah and and obviously we'll, we'll get to the players that, that are in there which I would want to put in but before we do that let me just hit this super chat from to Dari one to three thank you for the super chat big man Sorry, this is not related to this game. I asked you a few weeks ago if this is the season where Zidane gets exposed, and you said no. How's your view changed? My dear friend, I am <laughs> frightened of what could happen with Zidane this season because I think, according to the marker, they said it could be sack if it lose to, if it lose their classic. They'll, they'll, they'll never sack him. They'll never sack him. They, can they never can't sack do Zidane. that. They can't. They'll who, never sack Zidane. When when people this is the thing when, when people say sack Zidane, who they what? Is it Pochettino? Is that Pochettino no, 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 still no, no, going to no, bring in? No, 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 it's not, it's not even about that. Mm. You can't sack Zidane. Now, he can leave, mutual consent, you cannot sack Zinedine Zidane. That would just look horrible bad. But let me say this right now, I am scared for Real Madrid and Zidane. This is because what Shakhtar Donetsk did to those guys, because see, we'll, okay, we're, we're, we're going to talk about El, 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 El Clasico later on because we're going to do like a live preview, but I am frightened because if Barcelona, who already look average, lubricate or baptize Real Madrid and we, what's that three losses in a row Cadiz um freaking Shakhtar Donetsk and Barcelona 
is looking is sketchy. It, well, is he, well, I was going to say, like, how long is actually Ramos out for? Because obviously the big thing here they say he's, is Ramos. He's, 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 he's going to be back for Barcelona. They say he's yeah, going to be back. So, yeah, so for me, the, the big thing with Madrid is, like, Ramos obviously brings something, much like Henderson, arguably, to a lesser certain extent of Liverpool, he brings things to the Real Madrid team. So if Ramos is in that team, he will galvanise so much, and they will at least make a fight out of it. Oh, they certainly are not going to lose more games to, like, so Shakhtar's B team or Cadiz if Ramos is there. The issue for me is if Ramos gets injured, the team just, they just seem to fall apart. I just don't get it. Like, they just fall apart if, if Sergio Ramos isn't there, and that's the problem. Okay, look, man, let's, 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 let's ride with some of these um, formations, man. So, um, so can you see that's well, Red Devil? Yeah, I can, yeah. All right, actually, let me just show you so you guys can sort of, can you still see that? Is that good? Can you still see? Yeah, yeah. So, I expect De Gea, obviously. Uh, yep, De Gea will be in goal. There's no doubt about that, yeah. So, <laughs> who's left back? And so, you know what? I'm going to say something about this, but let me just see who you're going to make. So, left back? So, this is the thing. Like, if I'm honest, I'm re Solskjaer can go one or two ways here. We obviously played 3-5-2, 5-3-2, whatever, whatever, which way you want to go about it against Paris and it obviously worked and a few times last season it worked as well and even against Chelsea a few occasions we did play that formation we are at home and you'd expect Manchester United to maybe be a bit more attacking in that respect but there is clearly pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and when we look at the likes of Alex Tellez and that's why I'm, I'm sliding to, towards Solskjaer actually playing a back three back three back three slash slash back five to integrate Alex Tellez into this team, so I think he'll I think he'll basically go Luke Shaw as a left side, and then he's probably going to play Harry Maguire and Lindelof. He shouldn't, he shouldn't, he really, really shouldn't. But I have a feeling that he will. Then, obviously, in terms of wing backs, you have Alex Tellez and the Wamba Saka on the right. So, oh, okay, go on. okay. Go so on, who's sorry. going yeah. left back then? So who's going left back? So what left sided centre back will be Luke Shaw, left wing back will be Alex Tellez. So I think he will integrate both of those. Essentially, he's going to go similar to how he how he lined up in Paris. Oh, 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 I think. Oh, okay, so you're saying is yeah. this a back three or a back four? A, a back three. Okay. So who goes here? So so that's left. So Luke Shaw. So Luke Shaw. And then this is Maguire. Maguire, yeah. And then who this is who? Lindelof. Wow. Back three, interesting. Yeah. So is this what um a diamond was then? So be like so a three five two. Yeah. So wing back. So yeah. So this. Yeah. Or this. Uh no, more uh, the, the 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 first one. So then it's this. not so yeah, I think that oh. yeah. yeah. And then this is who? It's Alex Tellers. And then this is uh Wamba Saka. Okay, okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. And then this is Mc, McTominay. Yeah, so the midfield is interesting. Um because um obviously um Pogba and Van der Beek, um especially especially Van der Beek because I think he's been doing quite well, were on the bench against PSG and he played um Fred and McTominay as two holding, sorry. So he played Fred and McTominay as two holding with Bruno Fernandez on top, in front of them. Um Will he play two holding midfielders against Chelsea? Oh, I'd I, I, I just I, say I, I, Twan, I Twan, Twan Zebi over Lindelof and Malone. Of course, I agree. I agree with that. I agree. This is not the formation that I want, the, or, or, the, or even the, the players that I want. This is just how I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will line up because I don't see if Maguire's fit, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer dropping Maguire, especially as the club captain. It's not going to happen. So he shouldn't start, but. He will. There's nothing that I can say to that, really. He should. I agree with these comments, but like, but he will start. Costa Mendes is not going to start. I see. I'm, I'm just seeing, uh, in that. So, so yeah, he'll play. He'll probably will play um, Fred and McTominay and and Bruno. Okay, so you're saying McTominay here? Yeah. And this is Fred and Bruno. Yeah, Fred and Bruno. Yeah. This is interesting. And then who's up top? So is it two or again? One it's a very interesting. Uh, I think he will play two up front, and 
I think because obviously Martial is not is is not is not here for this one. Rashford will play. There's no doubt about that. The key question is is will Edison Cavani play? So Edison Cavani is obviously is is obviously for this game, and it's going to be between Edison Cavani and Mason Greenwood. Um, again, I think that he will probably go with Cavani just be, only just because Greenwood is coming back from a, a small injury. So I think that he will probably bring Greenwood on, but I think he will start Ed Edison Cavani because Edison Cavani, at least from what I got from the press conference, is he hasn't trained obviously as much as, as Greenwood, but he is the fitter of the two strikers, is the impression I got. So, Abdullahi, if you're looking at that lineup, does that lineup scare you? Would you be frightened of that line lineup, Abdullahi? Let me see. Um, Rashford, Cavani. Uh, I think the only person that can frighten me in that in that um, starting um, starting lineup is two players. Bruno Fernandez has to be kept quiet, and also Marcus Rashford. Those two players have to be kept quiet, and it's gonna be the job of Golo Kante and um, I think Cesar Sepetueta. We need two players in team. Those two players need to like keep. If Bruno is kept quiet in that team, I think that team will automatically collapse because he's the one who orchestrates how United play. If he's been kept quiet and he's been frustrated, I think he's gonna he's gonna swing in the other on the opposite way. But if Bruno is given enough chances, my lord in heaven. You know we're gonna get a penalty. I've put out right there. We're gonna get at least one penalty in this game. Penalty. You know, that, that, that is what's gonna happen. So penalty. in my mind, we're really one nil ahead because we scored the penalty, you know. Exactly. So you need That's to sort it. of like we how Chelsea's gonna score two goals is, is it should be the question. You know, it's, the, the, the problem is not about scoring goals, we can score goals, but the problem is about about us conceding. That's my issue. Because we, people, we, people say I am Kozuma and Tego Silva are good. Now this is the time, man. This is the time we need to tell those centre back how good they are. How good is Diego Silva and Zuma, the partnership, how good they are? But, 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 but my thing, though, is red. Mm. So you're saying Pogba isn't in this game? It's not. A, yeah. Did Pogba, is, Pogba, did Pogba, no, no, no. Pogba, yeah, Pogba. The impression I'm getting is that Pogba, that Pogba is, is either not match fit or in the way that we're playing in this system that you don't play. You can't play. If you're going to play two holding in, in, in with Tom and Fred, because they probably will hold, you can't play Pogba in that system. And you have to and you have to play Bruno. You could probably you could play Pogba Bruno is, but you couldn't you, you, you in this system you can't play Pogba so, around. Wait, wait, so so are you saying this is more about the system or because he's playing like like trash? Be honest. I think it's I think it's both. I think he's he's it looks like he's not fit, or he's not or he's trying to build on his fitness. And in this system, because Van der Beek, you, people forget Van der Beek is when he's come on, when he's played, he's played quite good. He's been good, but he's been on the bench. So I think in the system we're playing, because when um, in the second half of PSG, when we actually started to control the game a bit more than 20 minutes, Solskjaer changed his tactics slightly and we actually played a, played a diamond instead of a back three. And so I think that I think that he will go the same way against Chelsea, is what I'm saying. So I think he'll play this formation and then possibly maybe in the, in the second half, 65 minutes, he will go to a diamond and bring on like Pogba and Van der Beek to cause, Chelsea more, to cause Chelsea more problems. That's how I think he will go. Okay. So, all right. Let's let's do our our boys now, man. Let's do our boys now. Um, so, I think we can all agree that we'll have him in goal. Is this, is... <laughs> no, no, he's out. He's out. Yeah, he's injured. He's injured. He's not playing. He's out. Who's in? No, 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 no. is out. Abdullahi, even <laughs> if he was fully two hundred percent fit, he's don't not don't sniffing this pitch. Please, he's not sniffing this pitch. Well, you you, you sign check again, isn't it? Checks check checks checks there, isn't he? Bro, yeah, you know, so, so check can go bro, and go. You know, no, this, this no. is how it is. Bro. That's how it is. Mendy, Mendy, That's the, the keeper. So boom. So check is not there. Now, um, uh, check is not there. I don't care. Look, he, if he's not, he will go there in second choice. John, Chilwell left. Yeah. So, Aspi or Reese James? Um, in this United match, I will go for Aspi because of experience. I will go for Aspi. But Lampa, I think Lampa may go to may go for Reese James, but I will, I will personally go for Aspi because of Marcus Rashford. I will go for Aspi because one on one, Aspi can is is very good one on one. It's very very good one on one. But I'm um, but Reece James, he has an issues with one on one. Like you can bypass him one on one. But in terms of one v one marking, I will go for Aspi quicker for me. I will. 
his experience. You know, you, I think you're right because I just think just mm -hmm. in terms of security, especially because yeah. of how attacking mm -hmm. this 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 team is, mm -hmm. I would I think Asp is the way to go. So obviously this speaks for itself. Yeah. So, um, so just one, one just one quick question. So you think that Lampard will go for back four, not a back three? No, because he played because he played a back three against us in the FA Cup. Yeah, he hasn't. That was the only time. He hasn't done the back four this year. So reason is because. I keep saying it, Mason Mount. That's the issue. Yeah, he, he cannot play back with this team. He can't play back three. He cannot. Lampard cannot do it. The only thing Lampard could do in this formation is a, a four four two that much. Olivier Giroud together and Timo Vena. That's the only thing he can do. That's the only thing he can do. He can't play back three. I'll be surprised. No, no, no. But but, but but the issue is that I have no idea what this man is gonna do. That's the issue. I really have no idea what's going to do. So, so literally, it's 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 a guess as to what the freaking heck homeboy is going to do. But mm -hmm. this is just us assuming. So, yeah. um, basically, this year it picks itself. So, obviously, yeah. can't say. Ugolo and Matthew Kovacic. And Kovacic. Yeah. What's what's wrong with Kante, by the way? He seems to be a bit, you know. Suffering you know, from some. Um, the guy's tired, no, man. He's tired. Fatigue, he's fatigue, fatigue, man. Fatigue. But no, fatigue. I know. So I think what I'm hearing is Lampard wants to wants to build him into a Makelele role. But the issue with it is the problem with playing Makelele role is you need a player who can be a carrier, a carrier of the ball, who can just carry the ball from the midfield to the attacking player. That's why we need Kovacic. If one can't to play in the Makelele role, you need Kovacic to play week in and week out. You need him to play because this team is lacking a proper DM. It's lacking a proper DM. And you want Kante to play in that Makelele role, you need the player, you need the ball carrier. Who can carry the ball from the midfield to the attacking player? And which Kovacic can do very, very well. That's why I want him to play ahead of Jorginho. Because if Jorginho get pressed, my lord in heaven, we're done. If he get pressed, we are done. Um, What are we doing? What are we doing here? Um... Bear in so mind, this, this, this is who you think Lampard's going to pick, by the way, not who you no, no, want no, Lampard no, no, to no, no, pick. No, 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 This is who I think should be picked. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so this is a Lampard thing. This is who we think should be picked. <laughs> so this is obviously... So no Mason Mount, then. Kai. What? Mason what? <laughs> well, he's going to be, he's going to be playing. That's, that's, My you friend, might as well Red accept. Devil. He's going to be Devil. playing. This is the real formation. <laughs> okay, this is the real formation. I want to be the one sport in which everybody has been shouting. Kai Havert, Timo Werner, Christian Pulisic, and Hakim Zia. He has the front four. He wants us. I don't want to see Messi Mount on that team at all. That guy need, he need to be, he need to be out of the team entirely for the whole entire season. That guy is he's good. Go he's gonna be there though, Abdullah. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, like, okay, you, look, look, you, look. You, you will be there. You know. My thing here is this: is that Lampard. This is what should happen. I think Cho. Pulisic, Werner. Yep. And obviously, this is... And that's my thing there. And for <laughs> me, I feel this is the, this, this is the strongest lineup. Um, mm -hmm. So, let's go back to Man United now. And then let's, let me just try and study this a little bit more. Um... Oh damn it! Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is. But AJ, uh, we, could, we could do something that line up also. I think. Wait, 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 wait. We, we, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So my thing here is this. Okay. I'll be real with you. Whenever I see this lineup in Football Manager, it always bogs me out. Because whenever I see a team plays it, I'm like, how do you get through this? But my thing here is this: is that um, am I wrong in saying that this may be how it looks like, but in practice? It'll be more like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because I think these guys will form the base here, and Bruno is really the guy that is really pushing forth. Yeah. Yeah. So my thing here is this: is that no, I get that they can go out wide and stuff, but you don't mm. have a particular wide man. And the thing about this is that excellence in defense, he doesn't really provide anything on the width. Not as, not as much as. However, Tellez though, that's I Tellez think he provides needs, a lot on the wing. He's a, diff, on the he's a difference, yeah. I think that's I think a lot of certainly in the PSG game, bear in mind that was obviously his debut. Mm -hmm. I think as a United fan, it was like it was refresh it was like as if we'd not even seen that for ages. Because to be frank, Luke Shaw, the amount of crosses, delivery that Alex Tellez actually did in that game, especially from corners, was probably just as good as Bruno's in that respect. So I think that 
if we're talking about for me, if I'm a, if I'm a Chelsea fan and the unpredictability of the Manchester United squad is how is Alex Tellez going to play? Because you don't know how Alex Tellez is going to play in this game. And if Cavani starts, how are Manchester United going to use Cavani? Because obviously Cavani is a is much more of a traditional number nine, someone who can call the ball, who's obviously very very clinical. How are those two players going to play in this in this Manchester United system? Because Martial and Rashford, as as pacey as they are. One of their problems they have, aside from Rashford not being as clinical as he could, is that they do struggle sometimes to hold up, hold up the ball, and that's why in this system it's it's it could be quite difficult because for counter attacking it's fine, but to actually beat a press and to hold up the ball they they, they struggle. Cavani, at least from the stuff that I've seen with Cavani, is at least a bit better at doing that. So I'm just curious to see how Chelsea will deal with. Two new variables is my point, and I'm also interested to see how United are obviously going to deal with the likes of Werner and um, and uh, well, we played against Pulisic. It's just I think the Lampard is going to start Mason Mount, uh, and if Lampard starts Mason Mount, then I think I think I think we should be okay. Um, my thing here is this: is that um, you see, looking for weaknesses here. I think Rashford is much stronger being this duty. So maybe in practice, mm. you may see Rashford wear out more around here mm. and really Cavani mm. um, provide the stuff here. I think that mm. the right side, I think, is where Chelsea won't mm. have too many issues mm. because Juan Bissaka is he's decent, but he's not really that great yeah. going forward as opposed to what Tears is. My 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 only sorry to interrupt you, my only only thing possibly and I'm going to is possibly is that which might change things is if um and this is another thing is that like if um Ole Gunnar Solskjaer actually drops Lindelof and actually plays Twan Sebian in that position. Because so I know he's not gonna drop Maguire. He's Maguire is gonna play, but he could drop Lindelof and Twan Sebi could play in that position. And I think that would because Twan CB is a, is a decent defensively, Wambasaka, although is, who is good defensively, he will probably go up. So yes, Wambasaka is not going to be able to doesn't isn't great at crossing, and 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 it's not good, as good going forward. But the very fact that you have someone like Twan CB who is good defensively and is switched on means that Wambasaka won't necessarily have to worry about this such and will be up up top anyway. Mm. So, and, 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 and provide and provide issues in that respect. So, wait, so, so I would like if you're looking at this lineup now, do you what weaknesses do you see here? Is lineup? Do you think there's a lineup that Chelsea can exploit, man? Oh, he's. What's, is he muted? On mute, on mute, on mute. <laughs> we can't hear you, bro. Can you hear me? We can hear. <laughs> to lie, man. Love this guy. Okay, go, go. Talk, 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 talk. Uh, I think it depends on how um, Lampard and Ole wants to play between each other because we need to remember something. It depends on how this team wants to pan out because the, with this formation I'm saying now, uh, United will go more of a defensive and a counter-attacking football. And it suits United a lot when they go on the counter. It, it suits them very well. They may go very defensive and just it's just on the break. That's why I said I want Aspicota to be at the, at the right back because it gave me confidence that yes, Ask me one on one with Rash Rashford. I'm confident. But Rich James, if Rich James play one on one with Rashford, I'm gonna be very, very worried. Rashford is very PC. Mm. Very, very PC. So mm. that's my worry with him. That's my worry. That's why I said Fernandez needs to be keep quiet. So so because so, so seriously, that's if Rashford is really drifting out here mm -hmm. and it's up against thingy, yeah. that's gonna be an issue as opposed to if if he's if he's across here. Yeah. If Rashford is playing as a pure number nine. I have no issues with that, but Rashford will not play number nine because Edwin St. Cavani is playing. So yeah, it could be because for me, I think that Cavani, yeah, he, but I think Cavani for most of the period will occupy this space around oh, here. Yeah. I think Rashford, he's going to drift out a lot more, and I think it's going to be interesting yeah. to see. Hence, why I said Aspilicueta would be yeah. best I, suited I, I, to be yeah. the guy. So, so, so even if he drifts here or he drifts here, both Chilwell and Aspilicueta, I think, will be good in sort of handling him. So United, I think, are going to be much more dangerous down that left hand side now that we have now that essentially Luke Shaw will be provide mostly defensive and Alex Tellers will be going forward and putting in a lot of crosses in the box. So, obviously, if Cavani is playing and potentially might not, it might just be Greenwood. So, I think it's 50 50 at this point, but I just think Cavani might just because it looks like he might be 
in terms of fitness, uh, Green, I think, has come from an injury. So assuming Kavayan does play, Alex Tellers, who obviously will go for, will be providing a lot of crosses for of Cavani in the box. And then obviously you have Rashford doing his thing. So the, the right-hand side, as you said, will be weaker. But the left-hand side, I think, is where Chelsea will need to be concerned about. I don't think they'll be able to handle this down that side specifically. Because PSG couldn't. 